Hello, welcome to Nighty's Insight. Um, yeah, I'm on I'm on a roll uh, right now. <laughs> so um, this message is if about if people do witchcraft against their family and friends, uh, who's gonna catch who's gonna catch you when you need help? <laughs> because this is something that I have thought about. Like um, so. Oh, and let's, and I got a scripture. This, this was going to be a scripture I meant to put for the other video, but that's okay because it, it'll still, it still pretty much goes with this as well. Um, so Romans two and six, God will repay each one according to his deeds. Okay. So it's just, the point is watch what you do to, you know, other people because, it's gonna come back period like what what don't we understand like so um it's gonna come back okay the stuff is gonna circle back to you good or bad so if you put out good things then it'll come back to you good if you put out negative things then it's gonna come back to you in a negative way okay so we don't want to do that but i was really thinking about that like if the people, the family and friends that are like, you know, praying against other people or doing witchcraft, um, towards their family and friends, the people I'm talking about, the people that they know now. Okay. Listen, I'm not really even talking about right now about the people who they don't know, which that still, uh, is not a good situation because the Lord is still going to, you know, he will, you know, repay whoever for doing evil against you or whatnot. But I'm talking about for the people who you know, okay, like your family and your friends, like why would somebody want to do witchcraft, you know, against somebody, their family or friends, somebody's finances, uh, you know, whatever, health, finances, um, career, car, you know, transportation, anything like that, because if then when, when God starts to repay the, the witch back or whoever's doing, you know, the, the bad things to the other person, once God starts to repay, you know, that karma back to them, then <laughs> they may need help, right? I mean, the per, the person who's doing the witchcraft on somebody else, that might be their only person that they, you know, go to for help or advice or, you know, prayers or whatnot. So it's like you just uh, biting the hand that feeds you, right? Or cutting off your own. It, it, it's like that, that little, uh, that little picture where the lady saw, you know, saw the branch of the tree that she, the part that she's sitting on. So if she saws off that branch, she's going to fall correct <laughs> am i not <laughs> am i not right she's going to fall and then and then what so that's that's my whole point um i just think that's crazy that people that help you know people do witchcraft against their family and friends the people that actually like have helped them out before or continue to help them or you know their their family and their uh kids and whatnot and you know, help them and their family. So it's like, it's just, it's just, it's just idiotic to me. It's crazy. I don't understand it. Like, so if you're doing witchcraft against somebody who you know is there for you regardless, like, so when that karma comes back to hit you, then what are you going to do? Because that person that you did the witchcraft on probably was your, was your rock. You, you see what I'm saying? They, they probably were your rock. They were the ones who actually, you know, sat there and still talk to you, messed with you when nobody else would mess with you. Okay. <laughs> Your own family and friends might not have even messed with you. You know, they might, might've written you off. They might've written you off and, um, they wrote you off and, and that person was always there for you to pick up the pieces or help you in any kind of way or, you know, or whatnot. So, so what happens when, when those family and friends that you've, uh, committed witchcraft against in any, any kind of way, speaking word curses, um, physically doing something to somebody's whatever property, uh, anything like, 
that person that you probably did that to would have probably been the one that would help you get out the binds and the situations that you find yourself in. Um, you know, when, when other things go wrong in your life or when that karma comes back around. So I just thought about that. So that's just something to ponder people <laughs> like, <laughs> Again, so if if people that do witchcraft against their friends and family, who is going to catch you when you need the help? Who's going to catch you? This is something to think about. All right. Love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.